In this tutorial, you will learn how to change the skin tone of a person using Adobe Photoshop. For this tutorial, we will be working on this free stock image over here. So let's duplicate the background layer first by right-clicking on it and selecting the Duplicate option. Next, we will have to make a selection of the face so that we can change the skin tone. For that, let's move to the Select menu at the top and open up the Color Range tool. Over here, we will select the Add Sample tool from the corner. Now we will use this tool to select all the different complexion tones of the face. You can do that by simply using the eyedropper tool and clicking on different areas of the face, like so. You will notice in this section over here that as you keep adding different samples, the selection keeps on changing. At the end, you would want to cover the entire face. Over here, you can see that a lot of the background has also been included in the selection. Not to worry, since we will be using the lasso tool to remove some of the selection later. So let's move on with the process by clicking on the OK button here. With the selection active, let's pick up the lasso tool to deselect the irrelevant areas of the image. To do that, press and hold the Alt key, and now we will make a rough selection of the background starting from the hair and covering the whole background. Once you connect the path, notice that the background selection is removed automatically. Now the same thing has to be done for the eyes and lips. Press and hold the Alt key while using the Lasso tool to deselect the portion of the eyes that were included in the samples by the Color Range tool. Using the Color Range tool, some of the edges of the face might not have been sampled, so you would have to use the Lasso tool to add them to the selection. For that, make sure the Add to Selection option is selected over here, and now you can trace the areas which you want to include in the selection. The same goes for any part of the face that might have not been selected with the color range tool, including the lips and part of the nose. You can even press the shift key while using the lasso tool to include it within the overall selection. Once the selection has been made, let's open up the select menu at the top, move over to modify, and then select the feather option. In this image, we will choose a radius of four pixels. With that done, let's move to the layer panel and use the button at the bottom to create a mask. After that, click on the button next to it and let's create a level adjustment layer. With that done, we will adjust the bar to alter the complexion of the face. You can try out different values to see what would look better on the image you are working on. For this specific image, we used 42, 0 0.97, and 255 respectively. Notice that the level adjustment was applied to the whole layer. We want the effects to be only applied to the selection that we had made earlier. For that, right-click on the current adjustment layer and select the Create a Clipping Mask option. Now the changes would only be applied to the face. From the layer panel, let's select the Curve Adjustment Layer option next and adjust the graph to decrease the brightness. For that, you would have to add an anchor point in the middle of the straight line and move it upwards a bit to form a curve. Now select the topmost point and move it towards the left side. You can keep experimenting with the graph until you're satisfied with the results. Next, right-click on the Curve Adjustment layer and select the Create a Clipping Mask option so that the changes are only applied on the mask. Lastly, we will add the Hue and Saturation Adjustment layer. Over here, you can change the skin tone accordingly. For example, over here we will change the Hue to minus 2, Saturation to 3, and Lightness to minus 5. You can play around with different hues and saturation levels here to see what fits better with the face complexion. At the end, remember to create the clipping mask so that the adjustment layer is only applied at the mask. And this is what we came up with. Here's the original image, and this is the final output. Thanks for watching. This was a HowTech.tv tutorial.